Hello and welcome to another Unity 3D Blix game tutorial. Now when you left off we had a game something like this. So the ball goes and goes but we had a lot of problems. First of all when the ball goes down it just never comes up and we have to reset the game again and replay it again. So in this video we are going to give it some mechanism and some cool tricks so that when the ball falls down it just starts from here and when we uh, press space it goes up again okay so that's what we're gonna do uh, in this video so in order to do that uh, so first of all we're going to reorganize this project a bit as you can see all the bricks are scattered here and there so we gonna we're going to mm, just move all of them into a game object so from here create create empty and we're going to create an empty game object and name it brick holder so this brick holder is going to hold all our bricks so select all our bricks and put it inside the brick holder so now the brick holder contains all the bricks so now from here just go and keep all the bricks up there so it will give us more space to play the game and the next thing we want to do is we want to give our paddle more speed as you can see if you select the paddle from here the speed is now 8 we want to give it a speed like 15 so that it moves faster so now it moves faster and I think it is uh, good and the next thing we want to do is set up the ball for and make it do something whenever it fails so we have to give a position from where we can detect whenever the ball falls down so let's say that we want this position to set as the position where when the ball will go through this position or go down this position we want to uh, we want the ball to be reset here again so let's create an empty game object turn empty and name it ball checker since it will check the ball I will check whenever the ball is there so let's put it down here let's give it an icon so when you click at uh, from the inspector just select this thing and you'll give a, get a lot of icons so from here I'm gonna select this red one so that we can visually see where the ball is now uh, let's position it uh, I think this should be great position it there so whenever the we will check in the code whenever the ball goes down below down this ball checker we want the ball to be reset here okay we want the ball to be reset here so uh, let's go and open the ball move script we have already a script attached to the ball so open the ball move script and uh, why is it taking so much time okay so in the ball move script what you want to do is oh shit yeah so in the ball move script what you want to do is we will check for this component and whenever the ball goes down below this we want it to be reset so first of all we're gonna create a public transform ball checker so this component will hold the transform component from where we going to reset the ball and and in the update function we're gonna do when the ball when the uh, when the position of the ball is down below this so we're gonna do if transform dot position dot y is less than ball checker dot transform dot position dot y so whenever uh, the transform the position of this ball is less than the ball checker that is when the ball is down below the ball checker we want it to load the label again okay so we want we load the label again by doing application dot load level and inside that we can uh, pass application dot loaded level so what we'll do is it will load the label which has already been lo loaded that is this level so it will reload this level so whenever the ball fills down that we are going to reload this level so let's go and check it out so click on ball and here we will see we have a ball checker transform component so the ball checker here's the ball oh, so from here uh, put drag and drop the ball checker here so now it is there so let's go and play it 
So as you can see, uh, whenever the ball goes down and it goes up again, whenever the ball goes down, it should go down and it goes up again. So we are reloading basically this level, but uh, we don't want to do this. We want the ball to be reset at this position. Okay. We don't want the ball to go from any other position. The ball is going from here and there. We want the ball to be reset at this position and we want the ball to go up again when we press space. Nothing other than that. So in order to do that, uh, first of all, let's check the position of the ball where we want the ball to set up. So select the ball and from the inspector, we can see the transform component of y of the ball is 4.79 so we want the ball to be reset at minus 4.79 and we want to go up we want to put it up whenever we uh, press the space button so let's go and do it so in the update we want to do if kiko uh, if input dot get key and inside this we're gonna do if key code dot space so when we press space what you wanna do is we want to do this thing so copy these things from the start just cut it and paste it right in there so what we were doing in this script in this script we were adding the force to the ball so that it goes upwards so now we wanna add force to the ball only when we press space none other than that so the ball will go up only when you press space and another thing we want to do is we want to reset the ball at this position each time the level loads so in the start the start is called whenever the level loads so in the start we want to set the position of the ball to so set it transform dot position dot transform position equals new vector to zero and the y value is uh, I forgot the y value is minus 4.79 so you may have a different y value just check it from the editor and do what I do minus 4.79 this should be great so whenever the ball fails it goes at this position and when you press space it goes up again so let's go and check it out oops I have an error oh again it is a float value so make sure to give an F otherwise it will not be uh, considered as a float so let's uh, so make sure to give it a F, F value so now run it now as you can see uh, whenever I press space let's press space I press space and the ball goes and it resets again I press space the ball goes and it resets again and now the game looks great but <laughs> one problem is the ball moves terribly fast so let's go and just speed it slow make it slow so as you can see if you select the ball the force is 2 so let's make it small point 0 0.8 or something 0 0.8 okay now let's play it let's press space now it's a perfect speed now it has a perfect speed uh, it's playable now so I think this is for this tutorial we have done a lot of things in this video we have done the ball checker we have reloaded the level we have increased the speed we have to make the game the more playable so in the next video we'll uh, add game over screen so whenever the ball fails down we will add a game over screen and we'll also add the score here so the score shows so I hope you guys enjoyed this video you can download all the scripts from the description uh, the link given in the description so thank you very very much for watching this video I hope it helped Thank you. Make sure to subscribe and like and share.